Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time joining, welcome. My name's Andrea and I'm the artist and entrepreneur behind Coco Michelle Illustrations and welcome to this week's studio vlog. What do you, what you really know about me? Do you really see me? Do you really see me now? If only you could hear me out, we could be something like a harmony. Stack it up and let it breathe. Talking about stability. Monday coconut this tastes like a new water bottle it is a new water bottle but it tastes like a new water bottle so it is 9 a.m. on this beautiful Monday morning and we are gonna jump right into some work I planned everything out last night I try and do my weekly planning on Sunday evenings um, so let's take a look at what we have to do so I just have the Asana app pulled up on my phone and today I have a bunch of follow-ups emails phone calls and some paperwork um, I also have some thumbnailing that I want to do for some new products, so I'll show you that. So that's probably what I'm going to do first. Um, I like to draw first thing in the morning because it's one of those things that could easily get pushed off to not happening for the day. So I want to start off with that. Um, obviously do orders. I probably have probably anywhere from 30 to 35 orders that I know to go out today website development and I'm going to spend a couple of hours on that if possible. I drafted up my entire home page what I want it to look like in Photoshop just as a mock-up and then at this point it's just about figuring out how to make that come to life. We have outgrown the functionality of Etsy at this point and a little bit later on in the vlog I'm going to have a sit down conversation with you guys on whether or not I think it's worth starting an Etsy in 2021 but in terms of me I've been on the platform for over two years now. It has served me very well but in order for us to stay on our growth trajectory as well as scale the business at the rate that we are right now it's time for us to build our own home uh, we still want to show up on Etsy so there still will be products that we will always have on Etsy uh, we're not completely removing ourselves from the platform that would be silly um, but we are hot and heavy into developing our own website so that's gonna be something that we are doing every day till it's launched I don't want to say launch day yet because I don't know how difficult it is to make my vision come to life so once I start figuring things out then I'll start to kind of put myself onto a certain timeline um, at this point we're still like really in the research and development portion of it so so right now I'm gonna go ahead and start thumbnailing thumbnailing is just a quick process of jotting down quick sketches um, brainstorming ideas we are doing a launch this week so we want to launch a new sticker pack as well as a new greeting card or two if I can um, so I want to make sure that I have like kind of like that flow state going into it um, and jot down as many ideas as I can generate and then kind of narrow down what the themes are because I don't really know what kind of sticker pack I want to do um, at this point. I know what illustration I want included so I'm like do I build a theme around that or do I just build an organic theme and if it fits it fits if it doesn't it doesn't I don't know but yeah let's jump right into it. Thank you. 
so I think I told you guys in my last vlog that I am outsourcing all of my wholesale orders. We're not doing it in-house anymore. We found a place not far from my parents. So I just emailed him because I haven't heard from him. So I dropped all of the color samples off on the 10th. So this is for him to have a reference. So when he prints off the samples, he can color match it to the appropriate colors. This is the same place that said that they could print thousands of quantities within two or three days. So for me to get a sample shouldn't take that long. So I just emailed like, hey, let me know when the samples are ready. And he said, I will try and get the samples done later today. I will let you know. Well, today's the 15th. I need four samples. It's been five days. I'm concerned. So I don't even want to tell Abubakar this because Abubakar like reacts completely different than me. He's going to be super pissed and be like, we're not doing business with them. And then we're going to be SOL. So I'm, I got to play this smart. But that's definitely a red flag. So I'm not opposed to looking for another place to do it. I just need them to come through now. So I just responded like, listen, I need <laughs> 1,500 cards by Friday. So if the samples can't be done, let me know. Because that would be a red flag that you can't complete the, the 1,500 in by, by Friday when today is Monday and it's taking you five days to do four cards. Child the ghetto, I can't. Um, I'm trying to like look through Asana and make sure I'm like hitting everything i made my appointment for my nails i definitely and i'll talk to you guys later about it but like i'm starting to get ready every day do my hair get dressed um because the morale is low homie it's it's real low <laughs> it's real low i was feeling real big toe-ish real potato-ish and i need to like pull it together okay pull it all the way together so i'm gonna go get my nails done get my toes done i did my hair i did my makeup i put on a t-shirt and a bra i went the extra mile so i'm vlogging now i have to finish filling out paperwork for michael school the amount of times i have to put my name my address and phone number on paperwork like all these papers are going to the same place why do you need me to put the same information every time in fact there's very little unique information per sheet like all 30 of these pages could really be condensed down to one thing i think it's just gonna be time to do some stickers i've been doing like a little bit of posts on instagram but nothing serious i'm not really in the mood instagram been kind of ghetto all the little follow-ups i've pretty much addressed for today um oh i do need to send one more email and then um, it's going to be all orders and then website stuff. I'm actually excited to do website stuff so that doesn't feel like as much of work. Work. Yeah, I'm fine. Okay, bye. It took me 17 days to shake you. Rearrange my mind, you erase you. there's a bun up there hey guys it's the next day i don't think i picked up the camera after i told you guys about the printer um i ended up talking to a google car about it and saying it out loud um really triggered me actually and i started to feel like very anxious so i went ahead and severed my relationship with that printer um the energy that i was getting back and the way that this business owner was conducting himself was like he didn't want my business so there have been instances where people don't want to do services or do work for me or my family um and it's unexplained it's unexplained and it gets real easy to kind of connect the dots where you know so and so recommended this person because they did such a great job but then when they show up here the energy is completely different so um i was like i'm not i'm not doing it it's Black History Month. You can kiss my black ass. I'm out. So if that means that we're going to have to fold 2,000 cards ourselves, then we're going to fold 2,000 cards ourselves. Um, but I'm not going to support a business that doesn't want my money. Skin black, money green. 
your problem, not mine. But I was really triggered by it and I started to get super anxious and I think that I need to leave coffee alone because I feel that the caffeine kind of heightens it. So in the moment, like I was like fired up, but then there's this lingering like jitteriness and it's not like a caffeine jitter because girl as i've told you guys a million times i worked from 10 p.m to 2 a.m every day i was operating on three and a half hours of sleep for an entire year ain't no little coffee gonna do nothing to me and nothing no little coffee gonna do because i was drinking straight red eyes every single day so this little dirty chai that i get from starbucks is not gonna do it um but i think it's the combination of the caffeine plus my anxiety is the perfect storm and i was like having like kind of like chest pains or like heart palpitations or something like weird happening where i felt like my heart was like fluttering um so i'm gonna be off coffee like why do i have to sacrifice all the things that make me happy why um, but today I'm feeling much better. I just posted on Instagram, jazz fingers. Um, it's super cute. I, it's not something that I'm expecting to get a lot of engagement on because it's just a pretty girl with flowers in her hair. Um, but it is going to be in my sticker pack that I'm releasing this week, the In Bloom one. So it's gonna be kind of like a floral theme as we go throughout the week. So it's doing pretty good though. Starting to get some comments on it. Oh, it actually is doing good. Over 500 likes in 18 minutes. That's pretty good. But I'm not pressed. You know, like I'm not, I'm not going to sit here and be pressed about it. I do need to get my phone on the charger because I'm going to get my nails done. You know, yesterday I was feeling like just so down and weird. I was like, let me go ahead and book an appointment and just have some time to myself. Um, so I have about 30 minutes before that. So I'm going to try and get some orders printed. So while I'm there, Boo Car can be cutting, packing doing his thing i don't think i'm gonna take you guys to a nail salon this nail salon seems like very legit like they're not playing around um i had to like fill out a form electronically before my appointment and just basically say like i don't have any covid symptoms i haven't tested positive in two weeks i like i ain't traveling nowhere like it was i felt like i was about to get on an airplane and i'm going three minutes down the road but i appreciate it don't play don't so I am back home. I've been home for a while. Got my nails did. They're very cute. Feeling myself. Um, I've been home for a while though. I like took a little nap. Did a little bit more drawing. Um, but now I'm just getting back into like Etsy stuff. And then got to start printing these damn cards for this Macy's order. I'm still feeling really weird about it. I'm not even going to lie. But um, I'm just going to get into that. I caught Michael taking a little nap skis on the couch. So I had to wake him up because we're not taking naps at 6 p.m. We're not. We're absolutely not. Hey, welcome to my eye pack. So, I'm doing something in my geeky and a geeky up And I am an easy. Thursday and it's about 9 45 a.m yes and um I got up I got ready I've been doing that consistently and it definitely has made some changes in how I'm feeling about myself and a little bit in my productivity because 
I feel more likely to pick up the camera. I feel more likely to get on Instagram. Um, excuse my laundry basket. I feel more likely to do a little chore or two. You know what I'm saying? I just feel more motivated because I'm put together. Um, today we're going to go to the mall. We're going to get Michael some new school sneakers. Um, he's going to have his first day tomorrow. Only for like an hour. Ooh. His first day is tomorrow, and it's just like a little welcome, pop in, pop out, hour, hour and a half max, so he can see the classroom, get acclimated. Mommy and daddy are going to leave, go have a coffee or something. Well, probably not a coffee because I'm 99% sure at this point that the coffee is what is giving me increased anxiety symptoms. So I've been leaving it alone for the past couple of days, and I felt an improvement. So that's actually heartbreaking and depressing because I... <laughs> I just love it. It's like a ritual, so. <sighs> but we're just gonna stick around nearby and then pick him up and then we're going to New York tomorrow to Herald Square to see the Coco Michelle product. So I'm really excited. Um, but today is gonna be all about kind of getting things ticked and tied before we go down to the city because what I don't wanna do is be down there and thinking about all the stuff that I didn't get done. So I'm gonna be as productive as possible today um, without stressing myself out. So I am posting the illustration that I did yesterday. Um, I hope that everyone likes it. I'm really nervous about it because it's a different style. It's not that different from like if you have the Coco Michelle calendar, it's not that different from that kind of aesthetic where it has that nice like geometric background but a really detailed illustration of a girl um so like kind of merging those two styles together um but i don't think i've ever like posted that kind of thing on my feed so we'll see if the girls like it we'll see if the girls like it i'm gonna put it in my shop i'm gonna update that with like a couple of other things i posted this week and i wanted to do my stickers but it's already almost 10 o'clock it's probably not going to come until like maybe tomorrow so we shall see but um i've been printing cards like crazy i think i have like almost 400 cards printed so far um which is not even half of what we need so um i've been steady just i've figured if i keep the pace of 200 cards a day um i should be okay so today i'll print off another 200 putting me at 600 um but this macy's order is killer man this is killer ever since that printer thing didn't work out like i've been high key stressed high key very no bueno so it is what it is but i would like to find someone soon maybe while we're down in the city if we have a second we'll like see if there's anyone down there that would work but until then this is disrespectful All of these cards need to be cut, and this is not even half of them. So while I'm prepping these orders, I thought I would sit down and chat with you about my thoughts on starting an Etsy in 2021. I get asked this question a lot, like, is it too late for me? Have I missed the boat? Um, should I start an Etsy? And I think, without a doubt, no matter what year it is, if you have a handmade business and you're just starting out, you should have an Etsy. And I'll tell you why. Etsy is a marketplace, and I've talked about this in other videos, but Etsy does all the work for you. When you have an online business, you are competing with everyone on the internet. Google isn't segmenting off search results based off the size of the business. If someone searches for greeting cards, Hallmark and Papyrus are going to make it to the top because they're the big dogs. So if you just starting out and you have no sales, no social proof, and no traffic, you're not going to have any visibility on the internet. It is going to be 100% your responsibility to drive that traffic. By being in Etsy, it allows you to leverage the traffic that they are bringing in themselves. They are a multi-billion dollar company and they are spending a lot of money on marketing. You see television commercials, you see Google ads, they are putting the money in to drive people to their site. And as my good sis Sheena always says, it is like being in a mall versus you having a boutique on a deserted island, which is what it's like when you first start off a business and you have no audience and no traffic coming to your 
website. So I will always say that you need to be on a marketplace of some sort. I prefer Etsy. There are other ones. You could be on like Redbubble or Society6, depending on what kind of um, handmade business you have. But I definitely recommend you be in an environment that will bring the traffic to you so that you can start getting that social proof and make sure that there's actually a market for your product, that people enjoy your product, and that people want to continue buying your product. So the answer is yes. If you need a sign to start your Etsy shop, this is your sign, okay? Stop looking for reasons not to do the work. Start an Etsy. And that's it for this week's vlog. Thank you so much for tuning in. As always, I'm just going to leave you with the time lapse of me packing some orders. And if you learned anything from this video, please make sure to comment and share. And I will see you guys next week. Bye. Shines off my face when you're staring me down. Do you stay awake, wondering what to say? Is it too late now? Isn't it funny turning tables? You should have listened, should have read your fables. Stuck inside a frame in the sun. Do you like the way the sun shines off my face when you stare at me down? Do you stay awake, wondering what to say? Is it too late now? You and yourself, you and yourself, it must be kind of. Thank you.